What's up guys, it's Wally, and today we're going to be talking about another weird terror type Pokemon that we encountered, and that one this time is going to be a rock type Breloom that we found in a den last week. So we'll get into the video, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here and just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Typically, Breloom is a grass and fighting type Pokemon, which is actually a really interesting type combination. Unless you're going against a flying type Pokemon, in which case you're just going to have a really bad time. But that's what terrestrialization is for, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But it mainly is interesting because it is one of only three Pokemon in the universe that get this typing. And in fact, the only one in this game that gets it too. The downside is the number of weaknesses you get because you do have six, including one that is a 4x weakness. These weaknesses are to fire, ice, uh, poison, psychic, fairy, and a 4x to flying. On the other hand, you do have six resistances as well, which is really nice. And there are just some pretty good typings too, which are water, electric, grass, ground, rock, and dark. This typing is a bit of a double-edged sword. However, it does allow Breloom the ability to work really, really well with a lot of different Terra types, depending on what kind of coverage your team really needs. Offensively, Breloom's original stab moves cover for seven different types, as they hit normal, water, ice, ground, rock, dark, and steel for super effective damage. Unfortunately, grass and fighting are two of the three most resisted types along with bug. However, having the dual typing means that you should have coverage for a lot of those types. For the ones that you don't have coverage for, that's what terrestrialization's for. After terrestrializing into a rock type, we will have five weaknesses, which are going to be water, grass, fighting, ground, and steel. And while this isn't ideal, it sure beats having six weaknesses, and we also do remove that big 4x weakness to flying. Plus, we have the added benefit that none of Rock's weaknesses end up crossing over with any of the weaknesses of grass or fighting. Along with these weaknesses, we do have four resistances now as well, which are to normal, fighting, poison, and flying. And what that means is that three of our original four weaknesses have now become resistances. And so the first move that goes into Breloom after we end up terastalizing might end up being a not very effective move. This creates the opportunity for you to allow yourself to get ahead and get the upper hand in the battle. Offensively, Rock is strong against four different types, which are Fire, Ice, Flying, and Bug, and weak against three types, which are Fighting, Ground, and Steel. Now, the great thing about this stab is the fact that it ends up adding three strengths. I would say four, but you're already strong to Ice. But also, in addition to that, your original stabs are strong against that Ground and Steel that your Rock just can't take care of. But I think the best thing about this Rock Terra for Breloom is the fact that not only do you get to remove your 4x weakness to flying, but now you've become strong to flying in every possible way. So let's look at a potential build and maybe a couple extra moves that we can put on Breloom here. So if we end up looking at Breloom's stats, uh, we see some numbers that are pretty mediocre. I mean, in the bulk department, its HP and special defense are both down at 60. Its defense is a little higher at 80, which isn't that bad. However, with the HP again being at 60, it's really not going to be out there for too long. So really, we're going to be investing most of our stuff into its attack and speed. Now, its speed is at 70, which really is pretty middle of the road. I think, I think it's about average, maybe a little more than average, or maybe just a little less. But either way, that's why we really want to invest everything we can into it, because... There are some other Pokemon that don't invest anything in speed, so it is possible that we're going to be able to outspeed them naturally. However, because Breloom is, again, kind of middle of the road with that, we would want to be able to pair it with a Tailwind Setter. Now, again, alternatively, we could end up, you know, making it a negative speed nature and maybe putting an item on it like, uh, like Room Service or something so that we can make it extra slow if we want to put it on a Trick Room team. However, I, I think the easiest setup would probably be a, a Tailwind setter and to be able to max out its speed. So Breloom's real saving grace here is its attack stat. I mean, it's all the way up at 130, which is pretty extraordinary. I mean, it is a fighting type Pokemon, so we would kind of expect that attack stat to be pretty high. But it is also a grass type Pokemon too. And typically speaking, at least for the most part, I, I feel like most grass type Pokemon are special attackers, not really physical ones. So the fact that this is a physical type Pokemon is really cool too. So again, we would probably end up investing all 252, both into attack and speed. And again, since we aren't really a bulky Pokemon by any means, we are going to invest the four into HP just so we could potentially have that one extra HP if you know, we end up surviving on one or two, which isn't always likely, but you never know. It could potentially happen. And especially since we're going to plan on terrestrializing Breloom into a rock type, 
Hoping that we're going to end up turning a super effective move into a not very effective move means that hopefully we'll be able to stay out there for at least two turns. But again, the real saving grace is going to be Breloom's attack stat, so we really want to make sure that that gets maxed out. Now, because we really do want to max out truly our speed stat, we are going to end up making it a Jolly Pokemon, which, again, is plus speed minus special attack. I mean, if we really wanted, we could end up going with an Adamant Pokemon, which is plus attack minus special attack. However, again, because we do really want Breloom to be pretty quick, we do want to end up making it Jolly. Now, for its abilities... Obviously, you see we do have Technician on it. There are two other abilities as well. Uh, they aren't too bad, to be completely honest with you. We have Effect Spore, which is nice because anytime a Pokemon ends up making contact with you, uh, there is a 30% chance of inflicting them with some type of status. So you see that here with either Poison, Paralysis, or Sleep. And that's pretty useful. I mean, being able to inflict a status onto a Pokemon just from them hitting you means that, you know, you really don't even have to do a move to be useful. However, again, we have better tech to do here with Breloom than Effect Spore, but the other one is Poison Heal, and this is great too because, you know, a lot of people will end up putting, like, Toxic Orb on it to be able to poison it, just so it'll end up healing up about one-eighth of its HP every single turn. So, it is a little bit better than, obviously, like a, like a Leftovers or something like that, so Poison Heal is actually a really good ability. However, the one that we're going to go with here is going to be Technician. And we've seen Technician before in another Pokemon. Um, I, I think it was Persian. I think Persian was the other one that had Technician that we were talking about. So uh, we have gone over Technician, but we'll go over it again just, just briefly, just in case. So pretty much what this does is anytime this Pokemon ends up using a move that is uh, 60 or less in its power, it ends up doing 50% more damage than it originally would do. So say something is a, a 60 power like base move, that would end up being up to 90. And for Breloom, when it has access to a move like Bullet Seed, which we'll go over in just a little bit, you know, being able to hit harder on like moves that end up hitting multiple times in every turn, yeah, it's a really big benefit right there. So again, that's really why I think that Technician is really going to be the best ability to put on Breloom. Now looking at the moves that we're going to put on it, we really do want to put some moves that are really going to be benefited by Technician. So obviously we have Bullet Seed here, which is a 25 power move. However, because it is something that hits multiple times in every turn, really we can just kind of add that up and have that be the real power stat that we have for that turn. But the fact of the matter is we do have Technician, so that 25 power is going to up to 37 and a half for every single time that we hit them with Bullet Seed. Uh, we'll go into the item in a little bit, but the item that we have on there is something to kind of guarantee that Bullet Seed's going to hit at least four times. So having Bullet Seed, I think, is a really cool thing. Also, for its other, like, original stab move, we do have Mock Punch. And the good thing about Mock Punch is it is one that automatically goes first. Well, I shouldn't say automatically goes first. That's not necessarily true. It just bumps it up in the priority bracket. So something like Fake Out would end up going first, or if something in the same priority bracket was done by a Pokemon that was faster that Pokemon would get their move off first before Breloom would end up doing theirs. So really, that's why it says it usually goes first. It's not an always thing, but either way, it's nice to have something that ups your priority, especially if you do end up being on the battlefield when the other team has a Tailwind or has Trick Room or something like that up, and you know you're not going to go first. Being able to go with Mach Punch and get a strong fighting move uh, strong, especially after Technician, because that will end up upping to 60. And plus, when you have the stab, it's going to be even stronger. But being able to have that as a priority move is really great, too. Now, if we look at uh, another move here, which is going to be the stab move for after we Terastalize, we do have Rot Tomb. Now, this is another 60 power move. There are a couple other moves that I think would be good as well. But I only put this one on here for two reasons. Number one, it is a 60 power move, so it does get benefited by Technician. And also it does kind of help with some speed control too, because there is a 100% chance that you will end up lowering your opponent's speed by one stage. So being able to lower them, especially if they do end up having the speed, uh, not only is it going to help Breloom later on in the battle, but it's going to help the rest of your team as well. Or it's going to end up making them forced to switch that Pokemon out and end up bringing in another Pokemon. So hopefully you can end up getting the advantage on that turn too. Now it would be nice if it ended up having something like Rock Blast, uh, which is something that, I think it's Rock Blast. But it's the one that ends up throwing rocks at, at your opponent like two to five times as well. It, it's something kind of like Bullet Seed but it's for the rock type as opposed to the grass type. And I think that would be really cool because not only would that get powered up by Technician, but again, it would be a stab move because you would have terrestrialized into a rock type Pokemon. 
And being able to have that and being able to, you know, kind of benefit from the loaded dice, which again is something we'll talk about in just a minute, uh, would be really great, especially when you have that as a stab move. Alas, it doesn't have Rock Blast, uh, so we do kind of have to settle for Rock Tomb. But again, since it is kind of, you know, in that 0 to 60 power range, we do get that benefit from Technician. So that will end up upping into a 90 power Rock move. Now with all of these moves, we do kind of have coverage for our new weaknesses. Those weaknesses to Water, Grass, Fighting, Ground, and Steel. Now the good thing is Bullet Seed really takes care of the Water and Ground types. We have Mock Punch, which really takes care of the Steel types. So now I was looking for something that might be able to cover for the Grass and the Fighting that we might end up seeing on turn two or turn three or something like that. And that's kind of why I ended up picking Aerial Ace here. And again, the main reason why I'm picking Aerial Ace is because it does fall within the threshold of being able to be benefited by Technician. So that 60 would end up going to 90. Um, it also doesn't check accuracy, which is really nice too, just in case you know they end up doing something that ups their evasion or lowers our accuracy or, or anything like that. So being able to have a move that doesn't check accuracy is really nice too. Plus, it being a flying move means it's going to be super effective against the grass and the fighting type Pokemon that we might see. If we didn't want to have that coverage for that for some reason, we could always end up putting something like Protect on it. Of course, that's always something that uh, is viable. Uh, we can always put Bulk up if we think that we might be able to be out there for an extra turn to be able to up our attack and our defense. Um, with this build, I don't think that that would be the best because, again, we really don't have any Bulk into this one. This one is a max attack and max speed. So the fact that we don't have Bulk, I mean, yeah, Bulk up will end up helping our attack. Uh, you know, already super high attack, but the defense isn't really going to be benefited much. Um, it might be able to help us stay out there for another turn uh, if they don't double target into us. However, being able to get that bulk up off first, uh, you know, it might be a little difficult with this build. If you build one that has more bulk in it, bulk up might actually be really good if you take some out of attack. Because if you end up doing a bulk up on one of the turns, you're upping your attack anyway. So you don't necessarily need all those EVs in there. So if you distribute that to the bulk, that might be a good idea as well. So bulk up is another good option to have there. Uh, fake Tears, if you for some reason really wanted to make it more of a support mon, Fake Tears is great uh, to be able to pair with a special attacker because it ends up lowering your target's special defense by two stages. So pretty much if you do a special attack into the Pokemon that you lower by two stages, you're going to be doing double the damage than what you would originally do. So that would be a really cool thing. Um, again, that's something that I would typically relegate to like um, a Prankster Pokemon if we had the possibility to do that, but... Uh, alas, not every team has a prankster Pokemon, so uh, you might be able to put fake tears on Breloom. Um, Helping Hand is always great, too, if you don't think that Breloom is going to be a strong enough Pokemon. But again, with a base 130 attack stat, I really feel like Helping Hand is kind of a throw there. You know, so I, I don't think Helping Hand really would be the best one, but it's always, always viable on any Pokemon, I think. Um, Leech Seed is good too. Again, if you have like a bulkier Breloom to be able to put out there, that way you can kind of make it so that you're going to be healing up every turn and taking away some HP from your opponent every turn as well. Uh, again, with a Breloom like that, you would kind of have to adjust the EVs. And plus, I think you'd probably end up going to a more defensive Terra type. Um, so something maybe like, uh, maybe like Steel or something like that might be a little better. Um, Maybe not with a grass type because you might get a fire type move into you. So, but but either way, my point is, if you wanted a more defensive Breloom, you know, having something like Leech Seed might be really good there. Um, of course, you can always do a Chesto Resto, put a Chesto Berry on it, and do Rest. But again, with the lack of bulk that it has, I don't necessarily think that would be the best one. But, but again, you never know. Of course, you can always put Spore on it. I know people love Spore because it's a one hundred percent accurate sleep move, which is something that I really do think should be outlawed, but I will, maybe in a separate video, I'll get on my soapbox and talk about why Spore should be nerfed down to like 90 or 80% or anything like that. I mean, the fact of the matter is hypnosis is 60%. Uh, sleep powder, uh, I think is greater than 60, but definitely less than 100. I can't remember exactly what it is, but um, either way, it's not 100. So Spore being 100, ridiculous. But I'll save that for a different video. But you could always put Spore on it. That's always nice. Um, make sure that you don't use Spore into a Grass-type Pokemon. Or if a Pokemon might be uh, holding the safety goggles or something, uh, they're not going to get affected by the Spore. So you'll have to watch out for that. But again, Spore is another good move to be able to put on it too. Uh, you can do sp uh, Stun Spore as well, since you don't have access uh, to uh, Thunder Wave or anything like that. Um, if you do 
think that you'll be able to stay out there for longer or you think that or you have a redirector and you're not going against Pokemon that have spread moves or or something like that, you can always go Swords Dance too. Again, Breloom with a 130 attack stat is already extremely high. You double your attack stat by doing a Swords Dance. Yeah, you're <laughs> as long as Breloom's out there, that's going to be the biggest threat on the field. So, I think Swords Dance is another good option here. Uh, and then Toxic is always great too if you want to poison a Pokemon. With a lot of Steel types that might potentially be out there, uh, you know, Toxic isn't necessarily the best because you're not going to be able to poison a Steel type Pokemon uh, unless you have a, a certain move that does that. Um, so Toxic might not be great for that, but Toxic is always a good move, I think, if you're going against non-Steel Pokemon. So that's always a good move to use there. But these four moves are the ones that I put here because um, they're going to be the stab moves. They're going to be the ones to help you cover for your weaknesses, as well as, again, Aerial Ace is going to help cover for your new weaknesses once you are a rock type. And plus, if you do end up facing um, a, a, a fighting type or a grass type, and you know they're not going to be doing a grass or a fighting type into you because that would not be very effective, you can end up terrestrializing. You can use Aerial Ace, hopefully knock them out because, again, you'll get that boost from Technician, and you won't have to worry about that on turn two. So I think those are some good strategies. Um, but again, if you wanted to put you know, Protect, Swords Dance, or a, another status mover or something like that on there, um, I, I think that's very viable as well. But again, this is just to show something that is going to be max attack. Now for uh, the item, again, I, I think the one that would be best here because Bullet Seed is such a strong move uh, for Breloom, especially with Technician and the Stab, I think Loaded Dice is the best. So Loaded Dice is a new item that they ended up putting into the game. And what it does is pretty much guarantee that any multi-hit move that you end up using will hit a guaranteed four times and also still have that option to hit a fifth time too. So fact of the matter is if you use Bullet Seed with Technician, you know, the bullet seed is originally 25. You up it to 37 and a half because of technician. And then you get the stab and you multiply that by another 50% as well. You're hitting really hard on each one. And if you hit it four times, I mean, you're over a 200 power move there. And you hit it the fifth time, you're over 250. So you're going to be hitting extremely hard with that bullet seed. Even if it's a Pokemon that, you know, it's not necessarily super effective. Uh, you know, it's just a, a neutral move it's still got the possibility of doing a one-hit KO. So having Bullet Seed with Technician and Loaded Dice, I think is a real benefit here. Again, it would be even better if it had Rock Blast. Uh, I think that would be really awesome, especially if we Terrastalize. Being able to get that with Technician and Loaded Dice would be really cool too, especially if we're facing some Flying-type Pokemon. Um, so I think that would have been really cool. Again, we do have to settle for Rock Tomb. But I think having Loaded Dice and Technician... Uh, along with Bullet Seed, I think that's a really deadly combo, um, and I'm excited to see someone use it. Might potentially be me, so don't be surprised if you see that. But again, Loaded Dice with Technician and Bullet Seed, I, I think would be really, really good. Of course, you could always end up putting uh, a Focus Sash on it, too. I know I always kind of go back to the Focus Sash, but again, because Breloom really doesn't have any bulk, the HP and the Special Defense at 60 and the Defense at 80, it, it really isn't a bulky Pokemon. So being able to have Focus Sash on there and kind of hoping that they're not going to double into you and kind of guaranteeing that you are going to get that extra move out there, uh, you know, Focus Sash is always a nice kind of insurance plan to have for any Pokemon. Uh, of course, you can always end up putting a berry on it, too. Um, definitely go with a citrus or with a uh, figgy berry because uh, you're not a minus attack nature, so it won't confuse you if you end up eating it. Uh, the good thing about the figgy berry as opposed to the citrus berry is that the figgy ends up restoring one-third of your max HP as opposed to one-fourth with the citrus berry. So having something like the figgy is really, really nice. However, for that to proc, you do have to get to under one-fourth HP. And again, with Breloom not really being bulky, you don't have like a ton of opportunity and a ton of room for error to get from one-fourth down to zero. So again, Figgy Berry might not be best, but a Citrus Berry might be good too. And of course, if you do think uh, you're going to be really strong and you want to make sure that you're going to hit extra hard, you could always go with the Choice Band too. And so what that does is up your attack by 50% as well. So if you couple that with Technician, that's pretty awesome. But being able to up your attack by 50% uh, is really awesome, especially, again, with a strong attacker like Breloom. Of course, you do get choiced into one move that you end up, you know, moving with first. However, with something like Bullet Seed, 
And with Technician, and then of course with Choice Band, that's something that's gonna be hitting extremely hard. So hopefully you're not gonna really have to worry about you know doing other moves into other Pokemon. And especially with Bullet Seed 2, I mean, unless you see a Pokemon that is a Sap Sipper Pokemon, you are pretty safe doing Bullet Seed. So having Bullet Seed, the Choice Band, and Technician, I think would be really great too. But out of all of the items that we have here, I think Breloom would be best with a loaded dice. Plus, it would be really interesting to be able to use a brand new item here for Breloom in this new game. So I think Breloom with the loaded dice, Technician, and these four moves, and again, of course, you can always end up eliminating Aerial Ace and putting in something like Protect, or Swords Dance, but having a move set like this would really protect you from all of your weaknesses and be able to give you some stab moves that are really going to hit your opponents really hard. So this is our set for Breloom. Again, there are a lot of different things that you could do with it. Uh, you could always end up changing this to a bulk, uh, into a bulky Pokemon. Of course, it's not extremely bulky to begin with, so you would have to really invest those into the defense, special defense, and HP. But again, it is very viable. It does get a lot of status moves too, especially with the Spore and Toxic and things like that. So it is viable as a support mon or someone to do something like that with. But with this one, we really did want to go attack heavy because we were going to switch to a rock type. So to be able to, you know, remove our 4x weakness and make it our, not only our resistance, but be able to make it one of our strengths with our stab moves, I think makes it really good too. But anyways, this is our Breloom. We might end up making a team with this. If you guys do want to see that, let me know down in the comments. We'll end up building a team. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to go down and drop a like and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you